as global tourism revives despite hiccups imposed by Omicron, most countries are busy preparing their strategies to get back on the global tourism map. However, Sri Lanka is well ahead of the game as Sri Lanka Tourism Board used the first break due to COVID-19 to not only think through its strategy for a comeback but also prepare itself and its stakeholders for a revival. The island nation is banking on the immense diversity that it offers within its compact size and good global connectivity. It is also counting on proximity to key markets like India as its USP in a reopened world. In an interview with India Outbound, Kimali Fernando, chairperson of Sri Lanka Tourism, outlines the critical importance that the Indian market holds for Sri Lanka and how she plans to grow the market multifold across segments. In 2022, we expect to basically reach 50% of our best year, that is 2018. 2018, we had 2.3 million arrivals, so our target is to make half of that. Already in, uh, so that's basically about 200,000 arrivals per month. So if you look at November this year, which has passed, uh, we've had about 42,000 guests. So if we reach 100,000 every month on average, uh, we would make that and I'm po quite positive about that actually the way the bookings are. Uh, lots of hoteliers are indicating that December season is pretty full for them already. Uh, so the things are looking up and I think that our vaccination drive, our successful vaccination drive has really been tremendously beneficial as well as the fact that tourism last year when the, globe, when the world was closed in 2020 that we started preparing. So every single hotel staff is trained, every single guide, uh, driver, everybody is trained. Physically trained and audited. There was no self audits but we physically trained everyone from last year and I think that is having some positive impact as well. So together with countries like in our region, India for example, quite a successful vaccination program as well. So even in Europe up to an extent. So with that we see a lot of traction. And Sri Lanka, we never really went for mass scale tourism. So you're talking 2.3 is not a large amount. Uh, when you do compare to some of our peers who look for 38 million, 40 million tourists. So yeah, looking positive um, and I think we will achieve our targets. For sure, India has been a very important market and it will continue to be. Uh, UK, with our history, long relationship and history, they're, they're, they're actually we have bookings from them even now. Uh, France, Germany, Russia, CIS countries, as well as Middle East, because lots of expats also are living there. Uh, connectivity is really good. So those are the uh, key markets at the moment. And with that also, even the global promotion campaign, the integrated global promotion campaign, which we are implementing soon, has included these very same countries as well. So they have been in the past important and they continue to be important. Partly also deep relationships, but also excellent um, airline connectivity. Go, uh, you know, because going forward with COVID, I think lots of people don't want to transit so much. They want to have airline connectivity, which is easy, particularly in India, amazing airline connectivity. So I think sometimes from India, it's easier to travel to Sri Lanka than maybe perhaps within. And lot, most of Asia actually is not fully open, unlike Sri Lanka. We are fully open. The complete country is open. All tourist sites are open. And if you are fully vaccinated, frankly, there's only a need to have a PCR test before boarding and then you sort of walk out of the airport. So lots of Asian countries are not open in that manner. We have 26 national parks, eight uh, World Heritage Sites. Uh, Post-COVID people are going to look for wildlife, nature, beaches. I mean, we have eight and a half the times of sea area around our island, sailing is all year round, our forest area is almost one third of our, of our country. Uh, they would look for culture with our 2500 plus year old hist history. They would look for food to enjoy the food and you know food is known to build immunity 
they will look for wellness, for example, and Ayurveda and Helaveda come and, you know, we've even been awarded uh, number four in the world uh, for wellness, the only country in Asia. So they would look to heal their mind, body and soul. I think they're looking to connect with their family again, they wanted to connect to co the communities again, actually. So we're looking for to, uh, that segment, it, irrespective of the country, really. We're looking for visitors who want adventure. Uh, but there's loads of that who are looking for a sort of a compact island where you can have the beach all year round, where you can have the food, the wellness, the hill country, which is a cooler climate, of course, and the historic sites. Um, so, yeah, also post COVID, I think there is a different segment, uh, which is the digital nomads, of course, and that. We have already got the approval for digital nomads, so work from your paradise island kind of concept. Uh, the wedding tourism has always been an important segment for us, particularly from India and the region. Uh, we really can make memorable weddings. We really, we, we know, I think Asians, we know we have enjoy large weddings and we are good at that. Uh, the mice market, uh, we have actually, that's an important segment for us. Uh, we do get business meetings even during COVID. We arranged it in a bio bubble concept at that time but now if you're fully vaccinated that's not a requirement and uh, film tourism uh, we've always had films made uh, close by in the region as well as even from Europe uh, so we are going to create a one-stop shop for film tourism because we're focusing on that a lot and of course the Millennials a very important segment they look for experiences for authentic experiences Sri Lanka is uniquely placed for that Air connectivity is always important for us, of course, because being an island, uh, air connectivity is important. But I'm pleased to say that even during COVID, there were new airlines coming to Sri Lanka. Uh, so Air France, uh, uh, Lufthansa, Neo Air, um, so many airlines, Aeroflot, so many airlines have come into Sri Lanka. Some who had stopped five, six years ago are resuming. So we have over 25, uh, 23, 25 airlines already flying. So airline connectivity is really good, but Sri Lanka tourism for the first time is directly communicating with the airlines. We are connecting with them, we are building relationship with them. And in fact, uh, in the Roots, uh, Milan Roots uh, show, we took a prominent role there, Sri Lanka tourism for the first time. India is an amazingly important market. Our deep relationship, uh, there's so much we share and there's so much the Indian market is looking for because they look for even not like the Europeans who look only for beaches sometimes the Indian market is looking for retail uh, they're looking for entertainment they're looking for the casinos they're looking for the beach as well they're looking for the hill country the forest the waterfalls so India market is absolutely critical it's already having traction and in fact you know, you, you know that India, at right at the beginning, assisted our country with vaccinations. All Sri Lankans have a deep uh, uh, gratitude for that. And even I know that when India was sometimes banned by some countries in globally, Sri Lanka possibly was a, one of the first countries who welcomed Indians, last Indian travelers early this year. Uh, so the Indian market is absolutely valued at the highest level by Sri Lanka tourism too. Uh, we continue to reach out to the Indian market. We have fam tours, the media. We are going. For, we are visiting India also ne uh, this next year. A lot of trade shows. We are going to be on your TV channels uh, very soon as well. Actually, uh, and uh, Sri Lankan Airlines does a small promotion as well. Buy one get one free. Uh, so yeah, India market is absolutely important. And India is not only in India. There are Indian uh, travelers coming from Canada, from UK, from Germany. We are seeing that already. Who are traveling to our country so absolutely important market and India market is huge because you have the very high net worth individual who do come even during COVID uh, in your private checks who wanted um, confidentiality which we gave them uh, and have for them to detox and have a break uh, then you have a huge of course as you know a middle market uh, middle market there the segment there so yeah very important market, it will remain, I believe, uh, the most important market for a very long time. In the past, we've only gone B2B. So we've gone for trade shows and so on, but we'll continue with that. But we are also going to want to go B2C. 
reaching out to the consumer directly reaching out and that's the reason that we're going in for social media soon we are going to the India TV channels uh, international TV channels who are also present in India as well as the Indian TV channels itself we will also set, uh, have a destination representing company for the first time ever uh, in India to reach out to the consumer it's all important consumer we need to first reach out uh, so we are talking B2B B2C we are focusing on film tourism the mice very focused uh, on mice as well as the, the wedding market as well so reaching out from the media the print media the magazines uh, we are reaching out in fact to some of your influencers uh, uh, sort of, uh, sort, of uh, sort of decision makers influencers who could assist us as well and you know your honey Yohani has made an impact uh, in India and uh, she's been embraced by the Indian uh, citizens. Uh, so she's actually going to perform also in Dubai Expo, uh, which has a huge Indian community. And even in Dubai, uh, Dubai Expo, lots of visitors from India uh, visit our country. They enjoy our tea, they enjoy our mask making, our batiks, our jewelry. So India is a sort of an amazing market for us. Uh, and uh, 2.3 million was uh, in 2018. Honestly, you can get the total amount from India. For the Indian market, uh, connectivity will be important. One hour, two hour, max three hour flights to Sri Lanka. No sort of um, over, staying over in airports and whatever, one. Number two is that the Indian market knows Sri Lanka. They know what we offer. The Indian market also knows how compact we are and unlike some of the other destinations where it will be just beach or whether it is mass scale tourism, here India has a very compact, diversified island and they can have the cool climate, they can have the beach and they can have all of the experience in, in, in a short period of time. Indian visitors normally don't stay long time, we noticed. So sometimes it's two, three days and maybe it's like seven, ten days. They're not staying often, they're not staying three weeks and so on. So for short visit, Sri Lanka is ideally replaced because they can have the retail, they can have the casinos, they can have food, they can have the Indian food as well actually because Sri Lankans, we really love Indian food. Uh, and also the vegan food which we are famous for, the Buddhist trail, the Ramayana trail, all that is in our compact island so i really do believe that the indian market would embrace sri lanka like they have in the past as well um, would embrace and enjoy our island which has really everything that they want uh, in a compact place Tourism never got involved with film tourism so much, uh, but now we are looking to put a one-stop shop. I think that would really help us work with the Indian uh, Bollywood and also the film producers, documentaries and so on. So that is an important segment. Mice tourism we worked before, but will be far more effective going forward. Wedding tourism we have appealed already to our private sector to reach out, build relationships with the Indian wedding planners because that would really be a phenomenal experience. Wellness, I think less so because India also has amazing wellness culture, but ours is slightly different. Our food is different, right? Our, an area of the hill country, you know, the contemporary wellness, I think particularly the Indian youth, they are looking for contemporary wellness, you know, walking under a waterfall, uh, you know, walking in the forest, things like that. And we do find a lot of Indian youngsters, the youth, coming over for adventure. You know, with its water sports or hiking, camping, experiencing those, it's different segments. And that's why we have now not only looked country-wise, where we say India or UK or whatever, we are also, you know, having organizing our structure the other way as well, product-wise, experience-wise. So we're really, really looking at experience-driven uh, positioning. Oh, absolutely. Digital is no longer an option. Uh, we've never really focused on it Sri Lanka very much in the past. Uh, we've already appointed a digital marketing company. And even in the global promotion uh, whole sort of campaign, we've done the tender already and already shortlisted a 
designated professional digital marketing company there is no way out of it however we are also very cognizant that the digital space is getting very crowded so we need to be creating authentic experiences you know storytelling things like that uh, during last year when the world was closed in fact uh, Sri Lanka for the first time live streamed our wildlife parks we actually had 9 million followers at that time following our wildlife parks all over the world really and uh, we actually live streamed our paraharas with our Buddhist processions which we are festivals so these are things that we'll continue to do uh, we are also going to live stream um, water-based uh, tourism you know underwater the shipwrecks uh, the corals uh, underwater as well as yachting and things like that we're already going to go ahead with that so yeah digital space we need to be smart uh, in how we uh, tell our authentic story about Sri Lanka very important uh, we are appointing digital marketing companies also in Russia we're looking at it in the Middle East as well specifically some markets you're looking at India as well India for sure next year early next year uh, we're looking at Germany um, UK we just attended one but all the key markets like India uh, UK uh, Germany, France, Russia, um, Australia when it actually opens properly as well as uh, China, uh, Middle East, these markets, key trade shows will be there. We're not going to spread out too much because if you do spread out too much it's not very effective. So we are looking 8 and 8. So 8 main countries that we will really focus on, India is one of them and then another 8. So the eight uh, uh, countries we will have destination representing companies never had in the history of Sri Lanka and we will have PR agencies in the other eight countries. Now already the tenders are done, the tenders are closed. Now we are in the evaluation process. Has Sri Lanka ever done it before? No. So it's something new, so it's exciting times and I know that we would see results from that. Yes, the virtual expo, MICE Expo was uh, a success, absolute success. First time we've done it actually. Uh, uh, with COVID, we realized, okay, how do we reach out? And so we had sort of a hybrid uh, situation with virtual and some people present. Absolutely, it was a success. Uh, we reached out to um, India, our partners in the region, globally. We tried to tell them what we have. And this is a dialogue we'll continue. Uh, we need to continue and to get across what we have I mean from the MICE perspective we have hotels who are very capable of doing we have very focused like BMICH or Hamban Tata we have and certain convention halls we have specifically and what's unique about Sri Lanka I think is that with COVID people just don't want to go on a business meeting they're going to sort of combine it with leisure this is really superb for Sri Lanka because you can have your holiday, you can come with your, you can have your business meeting and then you can combine it with a holiday with your family and Sri Lanka is family friendly, you know, and with the multiple experiences, I truly believe that Sri Lanka is an amazing place for mice if you compare it to lots of other countries.